Hey guys, it's Friday, so I'm doing another weekend vlog. So far this morning, I took the boys to school. It's Liam's last day today. I've actually got to pick him up at 12, so it's like half 11 now. Poor Ollie has still got school up until Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday's gonna be my last day. And uh, so I need to get some cards for the teachers. So I popped into town. I got these um, like wine bottle gift bags, and then I got some thank you cards. I also got a birthday card for my friend Mandy who lives back in my hometown. Um, her daughter has arranged a surprise birthday party and I am in on it. And you know what? I am the worst liar in the world. I don't like lies, I think that's what it is. So I can't lie, they, they just, they don't come out. Uh, <laughs> she's gonna see right through me. So I've got the task of keeping her busy while the house is getting set up and, and ready. Um, last time I was down and we went church because we go to a spiritualist church, they said it was their, their like annual fake day where they raise money for the church and the date they were doing was the 20th. So I was like, that's a really good idea. We should go this year. And she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. So we booked um, a private reading because it's a spiritualist church and they've got loads of stalls and things like that. So, oh, I've got to get her out. We've got to go to the church. I think we're going to walk. I'm not going to drive. It's a bit of a walk, but it will take more time. I need to get out of the house for a good couple of hours. Um, <laughs> and then wait for the message to like come back and just hope we've had our reading at that point. And I'm not allowed to let her eat because we're having like a barbecue. Fingers crossed the weather's good tomorrow. Oh my gosh. And trying to stop Mandy from eating when she's hungry. She's gonna be so annoyed with me. And how am I gonna be like, no, 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 we'll eat later. Let's go get dinner later. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be quite stressful. So I did pop into TK Maxx because I saw these in there last time I went and I, I thought of it, but it was one of those thoughts that come in and go out again. And then I was like, I should have got that from Mandy. That's why that was, I got her a salt lamp. I have one there. Mine is like in a sphere shape and I love that one. I have that one and then I have one the same in my bedroom as well. But obviously they all come in different patterns because it is salt. Um, you can get them on Amazon. But yeah, look how pretty this is. And we like things like this, so she's gonna love that. And then I saw this for the kitchen. So it sticks on and then you've got somewhere to put your bits. So I thought, oh, that's that's cute. I'll get that. Honestly, that shop, I could drop all mine and Danny's savings in TK Maxx like that. I love that shop. There's so many unique things and I have to really talk myself out of buying things when I'm in there and just be like, your house is full of stuff. It's all dust collectors. You have many, many pretty things. You know, these are the things I'm telling myself the whole way of time. I'm walking around the shop thinking, you don't you don't need any more clothes, Helen. You, you, you bagged a load up, you don't need it, you don't need it, you don't need it. Um, in Wilkinson's, there was some planner stuff that I was like, oh yeah, really inexpensive. I actually took a clip of me going through some of the books and I'll insert that because I know a lot of, lot of you like planner stuff. And no doubt I will go back and get some of them later on after payday. So yeah, after I picked Liam up from school, he's asked to have his hair dyed blue as it's his last day. So I'm gonna quickly do that before I have to go and get 
Ollie from school because it was meant to be Ollie's big sing today where they, they have like a little mini fate in his school. They have some stalls and then they get the kids to sit on the grass and you t take like picnic chairs and blankets and things like that and they all sing. It's called the big sing and then there's like a little stall as well but because it's been raining all morning they cancelled it but they said we're still going to hold the stalls in the hall so I need to go and pick him up uh, like court two and then do all the little fate thing and I don't know what they're selling just knickknack and books and things like that but obviously the money goes to the school so it's 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 a good cause um yeah so busy busy <laughs> <laughs> Wait till it's dry, and then you'll really see it. Let's keep your head nice and straight for me. Yeah. Good lad. makes it so it's not so thick. Okay? Okay. Okay. This is a bit more thick here. Yeah, you've got very thick hair. So I do I go like that, watch, and then I cut in and then I brush out. And it's just like flaky bits. Oh, okay. okay? So this isn't actually taking the length out so you don't have to worry. Because you do have really thick hair, don't you? Mm. There's more hair than Liam at this point. Isn't there? <laughs> really excited to have this. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. You're such a sweet, sweet boy. Tilt your head this way for me ever so slightly. Thank you. You don't even need to straighten your hair, you just dry it and it's like perfectly straight. Most, do you know, most women would love to have your hair. <laughs> you've got women that straighten their hair every single day and then you've got you over here that's just got absolutely, just brush it and, just it's, brush it and it's perfectly straight hair. You know, lucky you are, boy. Mr. Blue, he's got blue hair. He's got blue hair. There was a song about you that was made years ago. Here you go. I'll have to play it to y'all. It's something like, da da da, in a blue little oh, town, yeah. there's a blue house. Something, something. I'm not very good at it. But um, yeah, I need to play that to you because that's you. When you're older, you're going to have everything blue. <laughs> ain't you? Yeah. It looks so good. <laughs> Let me take a picture. Liam's hair outside is glowing. It looks so good. Looks so 
so good. My hands are, actually it's not picking up on camera, but they look, they look blue. We're just on our way. We're just on our way to Ollie's school to pick Ollie up. Got the boys with me um, because they've got some stalls and stuff. I might get a cake or something like that. So yeah, look at his hair. <laughs> he looks so so I am on my way to Tottenham. Um, it's actually the weather where I was was chucking it down. It's basically been thunderstorming all night. But the closer I'm getting to London, the more the weather's improving. Thank goodness. Because, oh my gosh, ideally I want to walk. I don't know if I said this yesterday. I want to walk to the church um, and leave my car at, at her house because there's nowhere to park in Tottenham. Nowhere. Everything's permits only. But luckily she has a drive that only one car can get on it. So I kind of want to like put my car there and leave it there. And not only that, if I come back and there's another car on her drive, she's going to be a bit suspicious, like, what, what, what? You know what I mean? So, fingers crossed the weather, the weather holds out for us. Um, but my anxiety is starting to build of, what if she clocks me? What if she's like, if she knows I'm acting suspicious? <laughs> but yeah, it, it'll be, it's going to be a good day. Morgan, her daughter, has been sending me, um, pictures of the cake that she's got her and oh my gosh it's amazing I'll try and get some video footage of it but it's uh, it's got tarot cards on it because you know what we're like and it's got a crystal ball that lights up and it looks so good she's gonna be floored by that she's gonna love that so yeah I've, I've done myself up a little bit more than usual and again I'm doing my makeup when saying to Danny this morning do you think she's gonna be like your daughter um I tried to, you know, and I'll just be like, well, you know, I fancied dulling myself up because it's not like I'm coming down to do hair. I thought, you know, and I bought two tops. I bought this one because this is something I would normally wear. And then I bought a posher one that I could change. And then I've just got black jeans on because black jeans goes with everything, right? Um, oh, yeah, I second guess everything. Imagine being me. It's torturous. My mind just is like trying to think of all these things. So, yeah, I'd like to say when I was leaving, the kids were like crying, going, we're going to miss you, mum. But no, they never do. They're like, are you going? Are you, are you going all day? Will you be home for dinner? No. Yes, pizza. Really? The amount of hours that I spend cooking for them boys and they're excited about the frozen pizza. How typical is that? <laughs> I suppose if they had it all the time, they'd soon get fed up with it. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. But instead... They're really looking forward to me not being there so they get frozen pizza for dinner. So I didn't really record yesterday at all. It weren't really appropriate, do you know what I mean? It's someone else's house. But we had a really, really good time at the party and um, our reading was okay. It was okay. It weren't the best reading ever, but it supports our local church. So we had a lot, a lot of fun. I did take a video clip of the cake and I'll insert that. It was absolutely stunning and uh, I managed to pull it off. Mandy had no clue that there was a surprise party coming her way and um, considering she's not the most of social butterflies, she handled it really, really well. <laughs> so the food was gorgeous, it was a barbecue. I was lucky enough because I stayed quite late and then helped tidy up and stuff to bring a lot of the food home. So I'm gonna stick it in the freezer. I've got like 101 chicken drumsticks. Um, but I didn't even manage to get a video clip of what I ate yesterday. So there you go. But um, Amazon came yesterday while I was, wasn't was here. I've been picking up for the boys' birthday, let me show you. So the first thing I got was some miracle Grow for my plant babies. And then, oh, Cameron's turning 17. And you know what he did in the week? Oh my goodness. I had um, the paperwork sent to get his provisional driving license through. He opened the letter and I was like, oh my gosh, he went, it was addressed to me, but I now know that I weren't meant to open it. So yeah, that I'm gonna do like a box for, um, for like learning to drive. So I got this DVD and then, oh, I also got him this from eBay. It's a vintage car, like a learner car. It's a, like, you know, they're like collectible. Let's see if I can open it. So yeah, look, 
cute. Let's see if I can turn it to the side. It's got little L plates on the top of it. So I just wanna, oh, I just wanna get in like a, a box and put lots of like cute things and some L plates and, and I've ordered in some lessons and oh my gosh, lessons are so expensive. So that's for Cameron. And then for Ollie, I got him this. It's like a old Game Boy, but obviously a different brand and it has a lot of vintage games already built in. You know what kids are like, they just love technology. So yeah, it's got no batteries. It's very much, very much slimmer than the old Game Boys used to be. I remember when the Game Boys came out, I loved mine. So yeah, how cool is that? And I think it was like 20 quid, what a bargain, and you can just charge it back up. So I think that's a star buy. And then I got him a space cover in red, because he'll love that upstairs doing their chores so I quickly wanted to record that before they come down if I hear them come down the stairs you might hear me be like wait 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 as I hide it all um I also ordered um a butterfly garden for Ollie and you can plan when they're coming so I've ordered it to be dispatched on the 30th because his birthday is on the second um and then they send you like a net and some like live caterpillars and then you feed them and you watch them cocoon and you watch them turn into butterflies and then you release them he will love that because he loves gardening hello hello he loves gardening he loves bugs and things like that he's gonna really really enjoy that so i'm getting there i was panicking of what to get them but i really knuckled down this week and really thought about what i could get. danny just got back from aldi's because we went and done a asda food shop this week and there were some things that I needed that I didn't have and I also thought was a bit expensive for instance fabric softener and um, dishwasher tablets I thought as does prices were just too expensive so yeah I got some polish just some cleaning bits that I, I do like bleach yes I got some cream because those do you remember when I got let me do another cupboard do you remember I got these curry pots well you need coconut milk and cream to make it so i couldn't make it and i was like oh so i've picked that up because i'm desperate to try that curry hay fever tablets ricotta as you didn't have that nor pack when you get try and get the like lure pack from asda it's so very expensive so i got this another loaf of bread and some milk because the kids just go through it and then i do need to freeze this massive platter of barbecue food i've got like chicken and burgers and minted lamb kebabs and then i've got a massive tub of rice so i'm gonna bag all this up so it's freeze. monday i didn't end up finishing the vlog but um yeah i've got nick coming around today to do her hair so me cameron and liam have just like quickly tidied up this morning ollie's obviously at school he's still got another couple of days bless his little heart he weren't happy that he had to go to school and the boys don't but um yeah i'm gonna get on editing later i did do most of it last night but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one take care bye